Next up, with rising temperatures into the spring and summer, producers can expect to see evidence of alfalfa weevils in the state. It's recommended to regularly scout alfalfa fields this spring to avoid economic losses in hay production. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh spoke with Nebraska Extension entomologist Jeff Bradshaw to learn more about your management options to treat this overwintering pest. As temperatures are heating up, the pests are coming out. For alfalfa, weevils are emerging and being spotted in parts of Nebraska. This is due to the overwintering adults moving back into the fields in spring. Uh, typically, we start finding alfalfa weevils around this time of year, um, sometimes a little bit earlier, sometimes a little bit later, depending on degree days. Um, and so we've had some fields uh, throughout Nebraska, uh, including the Panhandle and into Wyoming, in fact, uh, that have seen pretty serious numbers of uh, alfalfa weevils. Typically, if it's a cold enough winter, those eggs that are laid in the stems will die. Sometimes those eggs can survive through the winter as well. And so that dynamic can complicate management. A weevil infestation should be paid close attention to as they are capable of causing economic harm to the crop. To make sure you know how many you're dealing with, Jeff says to take a big sample. Yeah, so it really depends on the stage of the alfalfa. So if it was a, a new seeding, the damage can be a lot greater than if it's an older stand of alfalfa. Um, if you have a heavy infestation, uh, it can have the canopy can have kind of a silvering or graying appearance where the leaves have started to die back from all the feeding. Uh, so sometimes it can be really conspicuous, but sometimes uh, not so much we recommend that you first take a sweep net and take some sweep samples, just to identify the presence, confirm the presence. Uh, the injurious stage really is the larvae, and so you want to scout for the larvae. So we recommend taking uh, 10 random samples of alfalfa stems. So you take the stem and you bang it in a bucket, and then you can dump those larvae out and count them. And depending on that count, and again, on the length of the stems that you took on average, uh, then you can find the threshold. When it comes to treatment, pesticides are one option. However, producers should pay attention to the labels as some weevils have shown a resistance in the past. Yeah, so there's a number of um, labeled pesticides uh, that are labeled for that target site, including a number of pyrethroids, uh, as well as endoxicarb and some organic organophosphates as well. Um, one of the challenges we've seen in some parts of the country is there's been resistance of those weevils uh, some populations developing against pyrethroids uh, and even endoxicarb and some other classes of chemistries. Lastly, Jeff says there is one option for producers who are on top of their game that doesn't involve pesticides. Sometimes we see overwintering of not just the adult stage, but also the egg stage. Um, and one of the um, methods for management of alfalfa weevil in the past has been to cut early. So if the adults overwinter and just the adults, they come out and lay eggs. And our degree day models can predict when that's gonna happen. If you just had overwintering ad adults, you could cut the alfalfa early as uh, another control tactic in instead of using an insecticide. So if you remove the host, uh, then that's no longer a risk to the crop. But the problem is, is we've had some eggs overwintering as well. And so those populations hatch at a different time uh, and so you can have an early season and kind of a later early season population. So some nuances there, but uh, generally speaking, right now we don't have any evidence in our area of resistance, uh, but it's something we are keeping an eye on. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh. <laughs>